chip right there. So you can actually see it. It's about the size of a grain of rice, and it feels like it too. But what that tiny chip can and can't do has become the source of much concern and confusion. I was in a grocery store, and a couple of ladies said, hey, you're the guy with chip in your arm, aren't you? You know, right across the scanner so we can see if it gets a, a discount on groceries. Sean Darks is the CEO of CityWatcher.com, a small company in Cincinnati that's the first U.S. business to use chip implants in its employees. What you're looking at here is recorded footage back in August of a number of drug dealers. City Watcher provides video surveillance for clients and for the police. And the video that it collects, like this drug bust, is the company's biggest asset. And they say they need to keep it under more than just lock and key. You might have one of these where you work. Key card that allows access to different parts of the office. A lot of businesses use them, but here at City Watcher, there's one particular room where you need either the implanted chip in your arm or a keychain. And Sean says the choice is up to the employee. City Watcher employees Chuck Gordon and Kari Williams require access to the secure server room where the video is stored. One got the implant, and the other decided not to. He carries the chip in a keychain instead. And that's one of the reasons that I don't want to do it. It's just, it's creepy to have, knowing that something is there the entire time. But Chuck, you, you could get over that feeling? Right now, I guess the big thing is, Big Brother's to be watched you over this. Um, basically, the chip's dormant, except unless you go in front of the access uh, panel. And that's the only time it activates. So, other than that, you really have no worries about it. Chip implants have been common in pets for several years, giving the owner peace of mind that their lost animal could be identified. And for retail giant Walmart, the chips are used as smart barcodes to keep track of thousands of products. But for use in people, well, privacy advocates think we shouldn't open that door. The concern is a privacy concern, because when that chip is placed in you, it becomes a permanent form of identification. If it were a bracelet, for example, or an ID card, you might choose not to carry it or not to wear it, but if it's in your skin, you're pretty much stuck with it. She can pull up a record of her allergies in an emergency. You're going to feel like a little stick and then a bee sting, okay? And that's going to numb the skin up for us, okay? At this point, if you're squeamish about needles, it's best to turn away for a second. No. Getting an implant is not a pretty sight. A tiny little incision here. Put the needle in. We pull the needle out. We put a Band-Aid on her and she's chipped. The doctor will send the unique 16-digit number on Mary's chip to the chip maker for safekeeping. But critics question the security of the system. It is the case that chips have been hacked. It's possible to duplicate them. It's possible to commit fraud with them. And those are also risks uh, for people who are using this chip. Three out of the five City Watcher employees who need access to the video room have opted to have the chip implanted. The other two carry their chips on a keychain. Either way, Sean Dark says his company's secrets are safe and let the chips fall where they may.